Welcome to this course on meetings, how to run them successfully and how to attend them successfully. We will look at planning your meeting, running it and the problems you can get during it, including what to do when you're attending a meeting that's badly run. But meetings are hard to pin down because they vary so much. And I'd like to start by suggesting that there are four main types and these need to be treated differently. There are communication meetings, monitoring progress meetings, team meetings and problem solving meetings. And I've put them on a graph for you in the exercise files to show how many people to invite and how long the meeting should take. The largest number of people would be at a communication meeting where you want to tell everybody the same message. The more people, the better. In quite a short time, I've said one hour maximum on my diagram. This meeting isn't for discussing things, it's just a tell meeting. It's not very democratic, but even just being told what's going on would be a big step forward in some companies. The next biggest meeting is the progress meeting, where you might have up to 15 people, so it's still quite a lot. And this is the meeting where everyone has come to report on what they've done, either on a project or on their part of the operational process. Unlike the other meetings, it's not particularly friendly. In fact, if anyone has failed to do what they promised last time, it might be a little unpleasant for them. Although the meeting can last up to three hours, it should feel fast moving, probably based around a chart of some sort. Each person has a short time to summarise their progress. What have they done and what haven't they done? And what are they going to do about anything that's running late? Next, we have a much more fun and informal meeting, the regular team meeting. This would ideally be weekly, but in some cases it can even be every morning. And the main point is that it's short. I've put one hour maximum, but ideally it should only be 15 minutes. And each person just has two to five minutes to report on their plans for the week. Any news, anything the team needs to know. It's not about getting sidetracked into solving problems or suggesting ideas. Just all reporting on what's going on. Any big things that arise can be dealt with later outside the meeting. If it gets too big, then this meeting will end up dying off. It'll be too time consuming to keep it going every week. And that'll be a big shame for team communication and team spirit. Finally, there's the problem solving meeting, which can be long. It could even be two days. This will be where you'd go away to a hotel and ponder your five year strategy or whatever. It's a small group of people working in a creative way for as long as it takes. So you've got the one way communication meeting, the slightly scary progress meeting, the fun weekly team meeting and the open ended problem solving meeting. So keep these four types of meeting in mind as you watch this course and think about which types apply to you and your workplace.